Hello, my name is Dallin Lakoff. I'm a geologist and I want to show you some interesting things that we have seen from satellite images. Okay, we're going to take a look at Cape Cod, which provides an interesting example of how dynamic shorelines can be. So, what this is a great example of is how sediment moves. So the sand on a beach doesn't just move back and forth with the waves. The waves also push the sand parallel down the beach, creating essentially a conveyor belt of sand. And so on the right side of the, of the video, this conveyor belt of sand has created this barrier island, and that moves sand down to the left side of the video, which creates a spit. And both of these processes involve a constant balance of deposition and erosion. And to the right side of the image, we see that erosion is kind of winning here. Here we can see this barrier island get a hole punched through it by a storm that moves through. That'd be a very bad place to build a house. And then on the left side of the video, we have this spit that keeps getting sand deposited on it and the beach grows. So here we have net deposition. So it's really interesting to see these two processes happening at different rates in kind of the same spot. So let's compare that to what we see at Fire Island in New York. Similar process here, we have a barrier island. And in 2012, Hurricane Sandy came through. And can you guess what happens? Well, let's take a look. The hurricane comes in and punches a hole in that barrier island and creates what we call a washover fan behind it. So really interesting processes in both of these places that share a lot of properties. Really cool to see.